And so this is a simple demo of how to do logging in an ADF mobile application on Android. We have a simple application, there's one button here, and in this button we're going to add an action listener that would actually allow us to log something. So I'll do this, create a new bin, call it B1, choose a scope, and add the method. Again, this can be any name, right? And once you create this, you should be able to just open the file. And if you go into the documentation for ADF Mobile, you'll be able to find this line of code. Okay? And you just import it. Obviously, import the things that you need there. There's a utility class here. And there's an error in the code in the documentation right now, so you can actually do this, it would help you. Um, and then you basically get your message. Of course, what you would want to do here is customize it. So basically, say for example, this is a shy message. Uh, we invoked the button, for example, something like that. Um, the other thing you can do is you can set the level here, of course, so you can click here and see different levels, so maybe this is just an info level message and not a warning or something like that. Um, just to show you one other aspect, if you're still using old style logging, which is basically just printing out messages, so um, something like this, where you just do a system out print LN, it would also go into the same location, so I'm going to use both of those over here, click save. The next thing you need to do is in your application resources there's a file sorry under the meta inf section called logging properties double click on it to open it and here you can basically specify what level of messages you want to display so right now it's set to only display severe messages um, I'm using an info message so I'm going to update it here and here and here to basically show me everything. Uh, there are other levels uh, that you can specify here. Again, this is in the documentation, so you can have fine logging and final logging and things like that. Once you did all of this, just go ahead and deploy your application. So we're going to deploy directly to a device. Click Finish. So once the application is deployed, I'm going to run it from the device. Um, in order to actually see the log windows, they're not going to show over here because they're running on the device. So what you would want to do is, I'm using Android, uh, you go into your Android SDK, there's a tools directory and there's a utility here called DDMS. So invoke that one. And this is going to show you all your messages coming from the device. So there's a lot of things that it will be shown here. Um, let's start actually the application. So you can see my device over here and we have the new application 48 that we can invoke. we can see our log here, so let's clear our log and then press the button in our user interface okay. and over here you should be able to see our message okay, so here we are so it's both the system output LN and your info message coming here. So what you probably want to do is you also want to limit and filter what is actually being displayed. So this is why this is useful. You can basically say only show me CVM type of messages and then you only get the messages that you're looking for. There are other ways to filter over here and you can define other filters here. For example, if you have text filtering based on your messages and things like that. So this is basically it. This is how you can see your button actions and messages being displayed here and track what's going on in your application.